Ammonia is a very important source of available nitrogen in the environment. In all things in life, moderation is important, and yes, too much ammonia is a bad thing. A quick overview of ammonia and why it is so important. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of the atmosphere. This nitrogen is in the form of nitrogen gas and it is really stable. The natural process whereby nitrogen is taken from the atmosphere and converted into ammonia is typically mediated by bacteria. The process of converting nitrogen gas into ammonia is very energy intensive, chemically complex, and slow. Bacteria in the soil are one group of nitrogen-fixing bacteria. There are also symbiotic bacteria that grow in the roots of legumes that can fix nitrogen. The legumes give the bacteria abundant energy in the form of sugars, and the bacteria then synthesize ammonia that the legumes can use to produce proteins. This is why legumes are such an excellent protein source, and why growing legumes in your garden are so important. There are also blue-green algae that can produce ammonia. These algae have the advantage of being able to produce their own energy via photosynthesis. They have special cells that they send this energy to for use in nitrogen fixation. These cells can fix nitrogen, and this ammonia is then shared with the photosynthetic cells. How is ammonia processed into fertilizer? Ammonia is quite toxic, hence in nature, it is absorbed and used quickly by plants. It also tends to evaporate, which is not ideal. For instance, in the roots of legumes, if the plants do not quickly move the ammonia being produced in root nodules, it can build up to levels that are toxic to the plant. So normally, we try to convert ammonia to ammonium and react it with something. Hence common salts used in fertilizers tend to be ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate, monoammonium phosphate, or diammonium phosphate. Does ammonia kill plants? Ammonia and ammonium fertilizers can kill your plants if you add too much. This is a common mistake that beginner gardeners make. First, get your soil healthy and have a lot of mulch. With time, the natural soil nitrogen cycle becomes quite efficient. Some legumes produce a lot of biomass, which can then be put in the soil as mulch, releasing nitrogen fertilizer naturally into the soil. Ammonia fertilizer. Ammonia is quite unstable and will evaporate, hence for fertilizer formulations, we tend to use salts of ammonia. Even these do actually break down to release ammonia, which is a pollutant that is quite bad. In the soil, there is a process by which ammonia is converted back to nitrogen gas. This is the work of denitrifying bacteria generally, and this process helps to maintain a balance in your soil. If you do happen to add too much ammonia and damage your plants, rest assured the natural cycles will eventually heal your soil. Next time around use a slow-release organic nitrogenous fertilizer and you will be much safer. Nitrogen in the form of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate is utilized by plants for growth, reproduction, and defense against pathogens. The amount of nitrogen in the soil that is available to plants is dependent on the rate of its release from the soil to the plant roots and the rate at which the plant takes it up. The amount of nitrogen available to the plant depends on the quantity of nitrogen in the soil. The availability of nitrogen for uptake by the plant and the ability of the plant to utilize the nitrogen. It is a balance and with time we learn more and more about how to create this balance. A lack of nitrogen in the soil, or too much nitrogen in the soil will kill your plants. So yes, get the balance right, and you will have green lovely productive plants. Get it wrong, and you have yellow sickly dead plants. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.